The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 166 pounds, Anthony the Narcissist, Kenneth Fisher. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. From the underground of New York City, Damian Priest has arrived. Calm demeanor, but about to unleash chaos. And his opponent from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Damian Priest is the genuine article, living the best rock star life, champagne, jacuzzis, beautiful ladies on each arm. This dude is the real deal. And all business in the ring. Born and raised in the concrete jungle of New York City, Damian Priest lives to throw hands. Damian Priest has this unchecked rage, ready to attack at will. He'll shut you down, and in the end, he will turn out your lights. One of the challenging aspects of a steel cage match is you have to play offense and defense at the same time. Victory can be achieved by pinfall, submission, or escape. And the unforgiving cage can tear you to shreds in the process. That's why I say do unto others before they do unto you. Especially in a cage match. Quick exchange of counters there. Oh. And again! Great way to wear down your opponent. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Sidekick finds the mark. Strong form. Priest timed that one. Effective arm drag. Big elbow drop. Knee drop. much less a factor when inside the cage. What does the victory come down to? I hate to use this cliche, but it's who wants it more. With nowhere to hide, this match is going to come down to who's able to take more punishment. Ooh. He's making his way up the side of the cage. impact in the corner. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. He's taking some good hits. Oh, God. Oh, foot just stomping down. Priest dodges out of that. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. I love this. Ah, oh, forearm. What a combo. Bang. Deep, deep trouble here for Priest. And Priest fends him off. Drives a foot into the stomach. Enable to counter. Oh, man. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. A kick drops them to their knees, and now kick after kick after kick. 
Roundhouse kicks keep coming. Boom! The exclamation point. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Locking it in. Ankle lock. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hold. There is no doubt surrender is imminent. Rolls through, able to escape the ankle lock. He takes control. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Priest gets countered. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Out of the way in time. Take down there. Making the climb up the cage. Here he goes. Perched up top. Priest holds him off. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Oh, that right there will rock you. He's in a bad way, guys. There is no way this from the middle rope. Oh, a huge miss there. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. And here he is scaling up the cage wall. In search of some footing to make this huge climb. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. He's made it to the top, but can he finish? Looking pretty precarious up there at the top. And at the very top, he gets a grip on him. He was halfway home. Ooh. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. He gets there to stop the escape. Cutting him off before they can get too far. I like it. And Priest with the wherewithal to counter. Oh! Uh-oh. Face first. Crashing to the mat. Ah, oh, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. He's just couldn't do it. Stopping the refs counted too. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Uh-oh. This isn't gonna be pretty. All the way out. Suplex. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This match has been so back and forth. I think it could still go either way. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Oh, running knee lift. Oh, taking it to the torso. Seated running knee strike. That is going to hurt. Gets him with the counter. Job. Wards off that offense from Priest. Brutal oh. series of kicks. Still going. Good grief. Oh. I think we know what's coming next. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. Fading. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. We're hearing a snap. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. What a counter. Priest finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. Fading. Oh, this one's over. 
Tap out coming. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Man, this place is jumping. Just endless knee strikes. And Priest is being controlled here. Priest has to find a way to right the ship here. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Drop kick. And he begins his ascent up the cage wall. Making the big climb towards victory. And now he's starting to make his way up the cage. There he is, at the top of the cage. Still with a long way to go. And he has an answer for Priest. He's making haste, climbing up. Oh, no! Oh, an airborne from up high! That was more than a 15-foot drop. That was all hope dying on the canvas. Oh! Trying to escape the cage! Oh! And he's able to reverse. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. Trying desperately to escape. Oh my God! Face oh. first! Ripped from the top rope. Oh no, he comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. Oh, that was a dip. Party's over. Hit the lights. Priest ended this fight. Is it enough? The cover! Not even a two count. What unbelievable power. What? What just... I can't. Uh, agreed, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Unceremoniously sent right back down to the canvas. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Oh, the reversal by Priest. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. He deflects it right back. And misses on the springboard. Up and down, what a slam. Here he goes for the win. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. He's been placed in the corner now. Countered it just in time. Priest has him lined up. As it hooked, hit the lights. Priest has him on Dream Street. Cover. Two. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Just dished out his most devastating offense. And you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. He reverses it. We're going to take a trip south of heaven. Uh-oh. Look out. Oh. Simple but effective. Oh, close line. Priest dodges out of that. Hits the drop kick. Priest is having problems here. Yeah, Priest needs to shift wherever his focus is over to the task at hand. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Picture perfect takedown. 
Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. And Priest fends him off. That could be the spark that... Uh-oh. Rolling cutter. Ouch. Priest will... Will it be? I think so. Ten. What? How? How? Kicking out at one after that is unheard of. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. He's able to fend off the attack. And another counter. What a shot! And look here, he's making his way up the cage. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. At the top, but he still has a way to go to end this. Oh, no! Oh, oh put in your body on the line! Did you see that? I think we all did. A lunatic jumping off the... And there's the cover! One, two, three. Oh, my! And the resiliency to win this one. The narcissist, Kenneth Bishop. I can't imagine being able to celebrate, let alone stand, after a match like that. Practically an inhuman effort in terms of resilience on display throughout this match. You really have to hand it to them. They earned this victory.